Hello everybody, Caden here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to build a, uh, well, modern house in Minecraft. I mean, I feel like that's very obvious based off title, thumbnail, yada yada yada, not really necessary to say. Anyway, as you can see we've got this nice little cleared out plot of land here to uh, build on, and I mean, I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm still not used to this whole format, it's weird and different compared to what I'm used to with the whole dinos thing. Anyway, so I've got a couple basic blocks here. Um, realistically, I've got this terracotta here. You don't really need that. The blocks you're most likely going to need are gray concrete, white concrete, and then some glass and your preference of flooring. Mine is usually dark oak planks because I think dark oak planks look the best. So when building a modern house uh, in any game really, or in real life I guess, if you're an architect, um, the best way to handle it is typically by going about here and laying out some, vol uh, not volumetric, some cubic shapes. It's cubes and rectangles, that's what you want. But you don't want them to necessarily be symmetrical. See, like if we take this and bring it along like this over here. People who will, people who've seen me build my laboratory in my dinos world will kind of know what I'm doing because, well, my laboratory I built was a modern style building. Um, but then we'll take a thing like this. Yeah, like this. Uh, no, actually we'll, I think we'll bring it in a tiny bit and then prepare that there. Um, and then like this. The basic goal kind of being creating a main kind of box. We'll want like a main box over here that we can then turn into our main structure. So I'm going to bring this along like here. So this will probably be like a staircase or a storage box. Um, and then we've got uh, like this, so that'll be our entrance way. And then build a second thing like over here. Actually, we're going to cut this one a bit short here. And then bring a little square over here up. And if we take a look here, I think actually what might be a good idea is to bring this in a bit. And let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm going to say bring in a second little box right there. And that will kind of set up the basic foundation of the house. So we're going to now basically just take this up. So however tall our first floor is, this one's going to be taller than the first floor. So like this basic construction. And then... We'll bring that one up one higher just to add a bit of height differentiation, make the building a bit more interesting. And then this one, well, let's see, how tall do we want our first floor to be? Right now the first floor is one, two, three, four, five blocks tall. All right, so hypothetically right here would be the height of our first floor. So let's just actually drag this around to all the corners real quick so we've got a good frame of reference. Um, So we kind of know what we're doing here. Granted, I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, anyway, what we're now gonna do is, like you saw me doing over here, we're going to drag this up a further five blocks. Now this isn't gonna go all the way around. It's actually probably just gonna hit a few of these areas. Um, and like this, like this, and I th think back here we'll have a, will be the end of this second story. So now we've kind of got a bit of a basic framework for what we're dealing with here, what we're working with. And you can already kind of see it definitely is starting to feel a bit more. I mean, the main goal when building any kind of house in this style is that you pretty much just want to, well, kind of keep 
this main theme of boxes. As long as you got boxes, it's gonna work. <laughs> pretty simple, uh, pretty simple rules, basically, at least in my mind, pretty simple. You just kinda come back around here. We'll lay, we'll actually get rid of that. Having it being a bit, bit off-centered will probably help with the look a bit. And then throw down that, throw up this. Now for a build like this, you're gonna need lots of concrete. Luckily, concrete isn't too expensive, I believe. I'm, at least last time I checked, it's not too expensive. So, and then we'll have this one come up only one past the, uh, the main break. Give it a bit more of a, well, of a lean in. And then we can have this come up to here and this come up to here as well. So kind of creating that box shape we're after. All right, so now we've got the basic outline of the building. And from here, most of it's just going to be filling things in. So for this, which is my uh, door, we're, we're, <laughs> we're gonna do something I never really do whenever I build houses, and that is uh, just put in massive glass blocks. I don't generally like doing that because in my mind, it, really isn't that attractive looking, but we're gonna do it here uh, because, well, that's that's the style we're going for here. Um, and let's see, now we get to decide like where we want the windows to be, uh, what's gonna be a solid block here, what isn't. Um, and that's another thing you need to be mindful of when making a house like this. You want lots and lots and lots of windows. Windows pretty much everywhere, because modern houses, I swear they're like, what, 50% glass, something like that? <laughs> um, I'm actually not the biggest fan of the modern architecture style, but I mean, it, it definitely does lead, lend itself to some very interesting builds in this game. I mean, it works well in Minecraft for sure, considering, you know, it's a game built off blocks. Um, anyway, we're gonna do something interesting with this front bit here, because since it's just straight up and won't necessarily be connecting to the rest of the floors, we're just gonna basically create this massive glass front here. Creating a very striking feature, as you can kind of see. All right, and then coming back here, I mean, some of the areas you're, gonna, you're not necessarily gonna know how it's gonna look yet. You gotta kind of figure that out as you go. I'm actually gonna fill this one in, give us a bit of space there. Um, and I think this is where we're gonna, we might put a staircase here, or was it along this wall? I was thinking the staircase. I think it's along this one. Yeah, cause I blocked that off for that specific reason. And then we'll kind of just take this like that and fill this in. And now we're actually going to, ironically, somewhat destroy some of what we had built previously and kind of open this up a bit creating a little, actually, let me see. I actually really like that. Maybe we'll just actually open it up from the top here. And we'll have this little gap here. Um, I'm sure if you're building something, you could probably put some redstone back there, uh, turn it into something useful. And back here, we'll have maybe like some storage or something like that, something small, useful. Um, let's get a door, obviously get a, whoops, wrong tab, there we go. Gotta use the good old dark oak doors cause you want that nice fancy look to it. Um, and same with dark oak wood. You'll wanna probably replace most of this with planks uh, just to kinda, oh, it, you can see I kinda filled in a lake over here. Um, but we're just gonna take this all the way along and fill the ground in with some planks. Now, I mean, you could use whatever you want um, for a slightly more, I guess, modern, well, I would say this looks pretty modern because um, I feel like most modern houses have these kind of dark plank floor, dark wooden floors. Uh, but other blocks that I think would probably work well would be uh, stone slab, or s smooth stone, not smooth stone. Uh, is it called stone slab still? I don't know, actually. Because uh, I know they changed up since they've got actually smooth stone slabs. No, I don't know what the uh, old ones are called, but the light gray ones. Um, smooth stone. Oh, that's what the smooth stone slab is now. Okay, so you could probably use those instead. I'm sure they would look really good since, well, they're a very clean looking block. They'd probably give up a very nice look. Um, okay, so now one thing I want to do 
is somewhat lay out the second floor. We're actually gonna take this and bring it out like that. So that way, uh, let's get some stair blocks. Uh, we could use some, use this one. It looks a bit more modern. All right, so we'll start it here. Bring it there, here, and there. Okay, and I believe that's at the correct height. Whoops, wrong block. And then once again, we're gonna take our uh, uh, dark oak blocks, dark dark oak wooden planks, place them down, and this will give us our flooring for the second floor. Now, if you wanted to extend the building a bit higher, you could probably put a slab underneath these to create uh, like a barrier between the two floors, uh, the ceiling and the floor, but I don't really think it's necessary for this build. I think we're going to be just fine like this. Like that, that looks pretty good already. All right, so we've got this. We're now gonna drag this up to here, and this up to here. And actually, I think this is gonna look really nice. Um, because we're gonna basically do this. So instead of having this be a solid wall of black, uh, or not black, uh, dark gray uh, concrete, we're basically just gonna it's not even dark gray. Dark gray is not even a color in the game. I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> I feel like people who are going to watch, if people watch this who aren't used to my commentary style, they're going to be somewhat taken aback by how I commentate, which will be pretty funny. So I don't know if this is your, the first time you've ever seen any of my videos. Uh, let me know if you were surprised by how I do commentary. I don't know. Um, but leaving a big hole like this in it kind of just gives it a bit more of an interesting look. And actually, you know what? I'm I think we're gonna do something even more different than I was expecting here. Oh, I hate breaking glass. You know, survival, creative, whatever. It's just, ugh, pains are annoying to break. Um, but I'm thinking now actually what I want to do is we're going to extend it out. I think by two blocks actually will look pretty good. We're just gonna extend this out by two blocks, make it fully white concrete and we're gonna do like we're gonna do this then we'll bring this glass back up bring it up back over here and then we're gonna do this solid glass block one again and put in another oak door and now if we quickly just throw Actually, I forgot, no, if we're doing a modern building, uh, we just need to basically do that. And we've got a nice little balcony now over here, and I think that adds a nice little bit of contrast to the building. And actually, if we just quickly drop some pillars down. We've got like a nice, we got a nice look inside there. It kind of throws off a bit of the symmetry here. Um, just drop another barrier down there and work on building up this and all right and I think we may actually put a another patio of sorts up here yeah well, we'll do another one so I, I think that looks pretty good so just throw another small one out here, giving you a lot more just fresh air. Oh wait, <laughs> the stairs are right here. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Um, so we'll just actually drag it out over here. We'll leave the uh, well, that third pillar because I think that adds a bit. Uh, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then we're just gonna build well a glass wall essentially over here just kind of like this and we'll do this actually you know what we'll to reinforce it a bit this one will be concrete just to allow us to not have to put full glass blocks in and there we go and we'll leave that in there actually I, I'm really happy with how that looks it's an interesting feature um, both of those in. 
Okay, and you can already kind of see, like, we're, we're getting most of the uh, basic building done here. Now we have this area to do. And since we have this, like, low-lying concrete wall, we're basically just going to do... this. And then place a two-high window up here. Because uh, then this kind of makes this a bit more private, and that would probably be a decent place to throw potions or something like that. Uh, give you a bit of extra storage space. And then some glass over here. Connect that up to a secondary window. Actually, no, no. If you wouldn't have a window here, you'd have just concrete. All right. <laughs> and if we quickly hop over here. I'm just going to close this one off. Actually, you know what? This one will be completely solid just to be different from the other two, which both have large holes in them. And from here, we're just about finished with the, the building itself. Because we just got to throw that in. Throw that there. Throw here giving you a little look over into that area because that's a pretty area right down there and then we'll get rid of these uh, construction beams we've got and another thing I just uh, another thing you should definitely keep in mind when making a building like this is well yeah. open floor plan basically uh, pretty much any modern building you'll visit and actually I'm gonna change this slightly we're gonna quickly throw another white concrete barrier here I forgot to add the rail weight for the stairs so you don't like fall over. Um, for building uh, stuff like this, you'll want to make sure you've got an open floor plan because, well, every modern building, they don't really have a lot of interior walls, do they? They're mostly just a lot of open space and, well, I mean, you've got like some maybe privated off areas like a bedroom or something. For the most part, everything's kind of within reach. You just walk over and get it. All right, and then here we can throw another window. Actually, I like how that works right there. So we're actually going to fill this in because I just realized what this was. We're going to fill that in and just kind of build this little window here. It doesn't really show much, obviously, but it's an interesting feature. All right, and then coming back inside, building here. I'm just gonna fill in some of the roof and this building will almost be done. So let's just do that and that and that. Fill in this. I'm actually gonna drag this over a bit just to make it a bit more prevalent in the building itself. And do that. All right. And now for the final step, which would be again, you pick whatever block you want. I am once again going to use uh, some dark oak here because that's what the block I've been using the entire time. And I'm going to kind of create a roof over here by doing this. Creating a nice little wooden overhang. Um, now, what you can do if you want, I'm going to just kind of create this lip like this. And actually, we'll stop it here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a glass block here. And on top of, whoops, not a door, but a, another level of blocks here. All right. Kind of creating a bit more of like a stepped up roof, uh, which again, I think really fits with the theme we're going for here. And with 
the completion of this roof. We should be done with the building itself. Um, I'm not going to do an interior today just because, well, I don't really think I build very good interiors. If you guys want to see interiors in the future, um, maybe I can come back in a second episode and build one for this building. But just like that, and actually, no, we gotta put we gotta put a lip over the glass just to kind of tie that all together. And once again, uh, using flat edges really does work with buildings like these. You want to make sure you've got this lots and lots of straight angles because if they aren't straight angles, they don't look quite as good. A right angle, it's not straight angles. A straight angle would be a flat line. A right angle would be a 90 degree. Okay, but. You can already kind of see what I'm talking about here. And now we're going to take andesite and stone. And we're just going to kind of dig out a little, what would be, I guess, your front walk from your house. And then just create a little path like this, you know, make it look a little bit worn, but also pretty well maintained because probably people who own a house like this in real life are quite wealthy. And, uh, you know, they've, they've made sure their uh, house is looking good. Now, this is an old trick, and uh, some people like it more than others. Um, I think it can look pretty good with a house style like this, is to, and I'm just kind of doing this as proof of concept on how to kind of make this look even better. Say you were doing a ton of these buildings somewhere, uh, as you can do this to make it look like a very manicured lawn. Now, the final thing we're going to do is... Again, just something I love doing in uh, my builds. That is, we're gonna take some cauldrons here, put some leaves in them, and we've got little planters there. Oh, <laughs> completely forgot to put this in. All right. And we are actually gonna leave that open, kind of like we've left this open, because again, that's another thing you'll find often in these modern houses is lots of weird little arches that you don't really understand what they're there for, but they're there, you know? You just gotta you just gotta deal with it. Then we'll put some more planters here. And another well, I was gonna put a planter there, but I realized uh yeah that balcony is a bit smaller than I remembered it being. But anyway, if we look at this, this is a pretty much completed modern house. So yeah, again, I'm not gonna do the interior, but if you wanted to, uh, you can add in probably, I guess I could give a couple ideas. Uh, probably could throw in a small storage room here or a kitchen, oh, and we never put glass here. Man, I'm really messing up uh, <laughs> putting stuff in where it's supposed to go. Um, so you could probably put like a little storage room here, or maybe this could be your bedroom. Uh, this would work well for, once again, a storage room or some sort of maybe kitchen. Um, this area here could do with a bit more natural light. So let's see if we can crack a window or two into here. That doesn't look too bad. I actually kind of want to see from the outside. And actually right here, I'm just thinking now, you could probably even put another door here and have that lead into your backyard if you so wanted to. And you can bring some windows behind uh, the staircase itself. And just like that. I mean, and then on the upper floor, you've got room for an enchantment table, potion room, stuff like that. You got a lot of space in here. Um, and you can always dig down if you need more. But I think for now, this is where I'm going to call it. So, actually, we'll just quickly throw in some more of this terracotta to just kind of make the whole thing a tiny bit more uniform. There we go. All right, so uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this building. If you have any more suggestions for houses, buildings, terrain, you want to see me uh, build on camera, let me know and I will, uh, I'll try and do that. So thank you guys again for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed and until next time, guys. See ya.